it'll let you manipulate your picture in picture. All right, today, guys, I'm going to be showing you guys how to do picture in picture in Final Cut Pro for Mac. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to open up the application, of course. Then we're going to go up to the very top to File, and we're going to click on File and go to New, and then hit Project. You can name the project whatever you want, but for the for this project, we're going to send the name it Picture in Picture, PMP. Okay, so from there, you can go back up to File and then go down to Import to import whatever media that you want to bring in. Me, I don't ever do that. I just usually go down to the Finder right here, and then I just drag and drop my own media from whatever folder it's in, wherever it's at, desktop, you could just go ahead and drag and drop it in. So I'm going to drag and drop this video in here. I'm only going to get this one video because we're only going to need this one. Okay, so now that I have this one video, I'm going to go to this part right here. You see the blade? We're not going to worry about that right now, but we're just going to go to the middle part of this video. And then we're just going to get to, let's say, right here. Then we're going to click here. That's going to automatically move that blade to right here. Wherever this blade is, is pretty much the placement of the track or whatever, the layers. So for that, we're just going to leave that there. We're going to highlight this. And then we're going to hold down Command and B. That's going to use the blade to split that. You can also go up here to go to Trim. And it's going to show you the blade tool too, right there. So whenever you trim, it's always going to leave the left side highlighted in case you want to delete it. Okay, we're not going to delete it. We're just going to click the second half and we're going to hold it and bring it to the top and to the very front. After we do that, we're going to go to the back of that same video and we're just going to drag it to the front to where that blade is. Once that's done, you can pretty much just click at the front of the track if you want to or just leave the blade there. It doesn't matter. Now we're going to shrink this top video here, video two. I'm just going to call it video two, video one right here, video two here. We're going to highlight video two by clicking on it. Then we're going to go over to this little arrow, I mean this arrow right here. Then we're going to click this arrow. We're going to click on transform. Once you click transform, you're going to see these little points right here. You're going to grab the one at the very bottom left and you're just going to pull it inwards. Once you do that, it's going to shrink this picture this video into a smaller size of your liking so you just go ahead and find whatever size you like if you feel like you can't see enough you can also click this full screen right here and when you pause the video it'll let you manipulate your picture in picture and you can go ahead and play it pause it again manipulate it wherever you feel like you need it to be you can put it top left, top right, wherever. I always like the bottom right. Line it up right there. Pretty good. Cool. Give me that bill. All right, that looks about right. Ooh. All right, nice. Now that we have that part done out the way, we're going to go to exporting this video so that we could look at it. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do now is we're going to go up to file and you can go to share and export and pick whichever one. Usually you just go to export the file in default. I always go to social media. There's also a different way you can do this. I always go here on the top right and it's a little bit quicker and gets you there a little bit faster. So once you do that, you just hit next. Um, well, before you hit next, you can go to settings and pick whatever re resolution you wanted it to be in. If you wanted it to be, you know, higher def definition, higher resolution, um, you pretty much leave everything the same and then hit next. You pick the destination you want it to go. I usually just put it on the des desktop. And then from there, you have your video picture in picture. So there you guys have it. Picture in picture. There you guys have it. Quick and easy, straightforward way to do picture in picture on Final Cut Pro for MacBook. Go ahead and leave a like if you guys feel like you learned something.
out of this video you guys found like it was something useful go ahead and leave a comment if you guys want to ask general questions or anything or just leave any type of feedback that's good and if you guys are feeling generous go ahead and subscribe i'll see y'all again in the next one deuces